I want to tell you a story today about the Divine Mother, when God incarnated as the Divine Mother, Sri Sharda Devi, and her cat, and a young brahmachari who didn't like this cat. <laughs> Radu uh, <coughs> was Mother's companion. She had a pet cat for which Holy Mother provided half a pound of milk every day. She lay quietly and fearlessly at the mother's feet, and even if for silencing others' complaints, she feigned to drive it away with a stick, the cat took shelter between her feet nevertheless, so that the mother had to throw away the stick and smile, and the others too had to follow suit. You see the sweet love of the Divine Mother, seeing all things as her children, and... <laughs> You know, seeing the tenacity of the cat to take refuge between her feet, she gives into it. Cats are given to stealing, but this did not annoy the mother who said, to steal is their nature, my boy, who will feed them fondly? So you see, she even accepted this fault of the cat to be a thief because it's the nature of the cat and she didn't hold it against him. And she said, who would feed him fondly if we held everything against everyone? You know, if we held everybody's faults against them, who's going to take care of who? Who's going to feed who fondly? But Brahmachari Gyan declared war against the cat. <laughs> One day, when he flung her away, the mother looked pale with pain. Beating the cat also was a common occurrence. In spite of this dislike, the family of this cat thrived through the care bestowed on it by Radu and the mother. And then came the time for mother's departure for Calcutta. You see, when the when the young boy Gan was was abusing the cat, mother felt the pain. You know, that's real empathy. That's real knowing your oneness with all things. And in mother's case, the real truth of her seeing herself as the mother of all. And so feeling directly the struggle and the discomfort of all of her children. And then came the time for the mother's departure for Calcutta. The mother called the brahmachari to her and said, Gyan, you should cook rice for the cats so that they may not have to go to other houses, for then people will abuse us, my boy. So she wanted him to take care of the cat, you know, put it in his, in his responsibility to see that the cat was fed every day. And this is the boy who had declared war, didn't like the cat at all. So she tells him, you know, we'll feed him so that he doesn't go to the neighbors and start pestering them for food, and then they'll, they'll hold the cat against us. This was a common argument by which the mother knew the lot of the cats might not improve overnight. So she knew his tendency to not like the cat. So she adds, when she asks him to take care of the cat, she adds this. And, and hence she added, look here, Gyan, don't beat the cats, for even in them, am I. So as the Divine Mother, as the Lord of all, she's teaching the young man here, you know, don't abuse the cat, not just because you shouldn't abuse anything, but because I, the Divine, the Beloved, dwells in all things. If you abuse anything with a malicious intent, you're abusing me, your lover, you know, your Divine. That was enough the brahmachari could no longer lift his hand against the cats. And he went so far as to arrange for a regular supply of fish for them, even though he himself was a strict vegetarian. In one sense, she was the mother of all the devotees, and in another, she herself was all. Her infinite motherhood left none outside its all-comprehensive grasp. Brahmachari Rahashbihari asked her one day, are you the mother of all? Yes, replied the mother. Even of those of lower creatures, pressed the inquirer. Yes, answered the mother. So you see, the Divine Mother is the mother in all, and she is the mother of all. And that we learn to love each other by looking for the mother's presence in each other. And we go out and we serve others, despite our own beliefs and our own ideas. You know, this brahmachari going, feeding the cats fish because he knew they liked them, even though he himself was a strict vegetarian, didn't think it was proper. You know, so it's there are times in dealing with each other that we put our own stuff away 
so that we can love more purely, so that we can care more deeply, so that we can serve more honestly to each other. So a small story about a cat and the Divine Mother. Very small story, but lots to learn from it.